From where you stand now, with your feet grounded on those worn red bricks, that locomotive over there now motionless, yes, from there it could be easy to miss the significance of this place. But these bricks, well, they were the first to welcome the merchants, the oil men, the factory workers, and their families, the ones who built this community. Dreams started here. Ambitions grew, arriving on the tracks right here in front of you. From here, they built a lasting piece of our American dream that's still growing today. If energy and industry are the lifebloods of our country, then these rails here were the arteries that made it flow. And this locomotive here, old number 940, well, it did its best to keep that lifeblood pumping. For more than 50 years, that steam engine pulled an estimated 3 million freight and tank cars from five different states. And remarkably, it did it at a top speed of 35 miles per hour. Today, the 940 is the last in a fleet of 332 similar steam engines built for the Santa Fe Railway. Thanks to the efforts of the Bartlesville Rotary Club, the 940 was donated to the city and moved to Johnstone Park a few blocks from here. After 53 years, it was decided that the Bartlesville Depot would be a much more suitable home for the engine. The community raised more than $50,000 for the move. It took two cranes, hours of planning, days of preparation, and an army of professionals and volunteers to bring the 940 back home to these tracks. In the end, the massive engine finally had a proper home in the heart of our city. The 940 pulled into the Bartlesville Depot just as it was celebrating a milestone of its own, the Depot's 100th anniversary. The Santa Fe Station, known originally as Union Station, had been the hub of our city. Every day, 16 passenger trains and countless freight trains came into this oil boom town. That quickly connected us to the rest of the world. We've never been the same since. As the country grew and transportation changed, so did the railway. Freight took over the rails as passengers took to the interstates and airways. The last passenger train left Union Station in 1971. Even so, the building remains an icon for Bartlesville, carefully maintained as a visitor center and offices for our Chamber of Commerce. With the 940 and the depot sharing the same rails, it was time to restore the engine and make it truly visitor friendly. Volunteers quickly made good on their dream to not just make the 940 pretty again, but to make it a part of history that could be experienced by all. The engine was cleaned and repainted. The entire electrical system was reworked. Lights were reanimated, including the golden glow of the 940's distinctive headlight. It was beautiful. But a train without a whistle is like a rooster that can't crow. So the engine's volunteers designed a compressed air system strong enough to breathe new life into the train's iron lungs. Now every Saturday, at the command of children of all ages, she echoes her stories for the whole city to hear. The engine number 940 looked like history reborn. But what the city and volunteers really wanted standing beside the Bartlesville Depot was a train. And that meant we needed rail cars. Eventually, the perfect caboose was found to share the tracks with our 940. The challenge was it was stuck in a tomato patch where it had been sitting for 30 years. Our friends at Taylor Crane and Rigging, who'd helped move the 940, signed on the game to transport the 1948 caboose. Restoring the rail car was time consuming and extensive. But with new fixtures, a new floorboard, and all new windows, as well as new paint inside and out, she was a perfect match to our celebrated engine. Oil put Bartlesville on the map. So it was only right that our 940 volunteers next began searching for an oil tank car to add to our train. It was three years before a chance sighting led a crew member to an abandoned cattle feed plant in the Texas Panhandle. 
Despite the faded markings of the 100-year-old car, the crew traced the car number and faded Flying A logo back to the Associated Oil Company of California. Further research showed that shortly before it was retired, the car had been owned by Phillips Petroleum Company, which was founded right here in Bartlesville. But even with this stroke of locomotive luck, the tank car was only partially there. Much of it had been sold for scrap. The entire frame was missing and had to be recreated from the ground up, including the addition of more than 500 simulated rivets. Eventually, it took replacement elements from five different sources in three different states to complete the job. of locomotive number 940 no longer moves, but its whistle still carries for miles. What is that whistle signaling to you? If the 940 century-old song is beckoning you to continue growing the great American dream, then by all means, all aboard.